Hello, back to welcome back to Wee Wee Wonderfuls. I'm going to show you how to finish off a spot, um, one of her spots for her. Um, the instruction is to do a magic circle with four stitches for one of the spots and five for another. And then it says to slip stitch and fasten off. So I'm just going to show you why we do that. Um, it's simply because otherwise we might end up with a an odd shaped uh, spot. So to finish off, we're just going to slip stitch, which is just going under as if we're going to start a stitch, pull the yarn through, but we're not going to do the second part of the double crochet, we're just going to pull it through. And then we're just going to cut off the thread, pop that through the hole and secure it. So we have a nice round spot. I've clipped the back just so that there isn't um, the thread hanging around the back. We've just got the one that we've fastened off with, which we're going to use to sew to Amy's body. And what I've done is pinned everything together. I'd normally recommend pinning perhaps the legs, sewing them on, then the arms, sewing them on, doing each part separately. But I've pinned it all together just so that I can show you where everything goes. And then I'm going to sew it all on. Uh, the legs, I generally pin quite near the front. Make sure they're level um, so they're not splayed out to her side. Make sure they're level with her head in the centre. Quite near the front and fastened at an angle like that. And I've pinned those and then make sure that she can sit up when you've um, when you've pinned them on so she sits quite easily and then I've pinned the arms I tend to do those uh, just at the base of her neck with the front higher by set a couple of rounds than the back and um, that means that her arms look quite cute coming forward you can just have them straight down but I think it just looks a little bit better like that uh, then I pin her ossicones on which go at the back of the head with a couple of stitches between um, sew those on and then her ears generally go one to each side make sure they're level when you look at her face and they're all level when we look at it this way on, on a very similar round just look at her from all different angles make sure that you're happy with the positioning before sewing them on her tail just literally goes in the middle near the base the bottom that can help her to sit up if you position it like that so she can sit up quite nice and easily. So we'd sew them all on using the same technique uh, with one stitch in the item you're sewing on followed by another stitch on the body and all the way around, especially with the little parts, make sure you go around a couple of times to make sure they're neat. Now I'm going to show you her eyes as a final item. Our spots as well, put them anywhere. If you've got some gold left, Feel free to do as many spots as you want and um, do use your own creative preferences on her. You don't have to do the same as me if you uh, think she'd look better with lots more spots. Her eyes, we're actually going to sew on two rows up from the, from the different coloured muller muzzle, which is here. So a couple of rows up with around four between them. I'll give you exact measurements where to put them, but of course you can, you can do it a bit different if you want. So one row, two rows. I'm going to pop them here. We've tied a knot in the end of the wall and then I'm just going to pull that through so it goes inside and it's lost inside the stuffing. And then her eyes are around uh, two stitches high and we do maybe about three, however you think the eyes look good. Some people like them darker, some people like them just a couple of stitches. You use as many as, as you feel looks good. So we're just going in and out like that, doing three, I might go back in, and then we're going to go quite deep in, and then come back up where we're having the second eye. Don't just do it right under the top, because you may actually see a black line going across there. So we're plunging the needle quite far down, and then quite far up to make sure that we don't have a black thread showing underneath, underneath Amy. And then making sure the level, so we're going to use the same round, the same height, just always making sure the level and stay the same. It might take a few tries, getting these right can take half a dozen, but the eyes give the character. What makes Amy look, look the person, you know, look the giraffe she is and how cheeky she is. So if you don't get them right, you end up with an animal that you're not over over happy with so do take it out do it again if you don't if you're not happy with the final result then we're going to come up to 
just here on her eye, sort of level with the top, maybe stitch part. And we're going to do an eyebrow like that. And then where we're going to come up is where we're going to start the next eyebrow. So we're trying to keep it level at all times. So it's level with the other one. Like that, I think that's about level and about the same distance from the eye. We'll soon see when, once we've got it done if it's correct or not. And then it's on that level just outside her eye. So we're trying to copy to make it the same. And then we're going to come up somewhere else. We're going to have a look at it, see if we're happy. I think that needs to be a little bit further that way. So I'm just going to pull that back out again. Rethread my needle. But just keep going until you're happy with it. So I want it a little bit further out, I think. If you think her eyes aren't, aren't prominent enough and you want to put a few more stitches, do go back and do that. It's until you're happy with it. So let's have a look. Hmm, I think her other eye needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go back. So I'm going quite deep into the stuffing again, not just under the surface. And I'm going to do another stitch or two. Make that eye a little bit bigger to make sure they're even is what we're doing. Do four or five, you can do as many as you want. If one looks, look. see as soon as you do another stitch on the other one, makes the other one look too small. <laughs> be careful not to go forever on it, they don't have to be exactly perfect. I'm just going to put another stitch in that eye and I'm going to come out randomly somewhere away. But I am going to come up through a hole, a natural hole in the fabric. So there we are, I think that's that's good. She's got a cheeky enough face and you can fiddle with that a little bit to make them come out like that. Very good. So what we're going to do now to get rid of this black thread is go back into the hole we come out of, very deep again. Go to another part, just like we did when we were when we finish off all the threads for sewing on. This is how we do it. So back in the same hole, back out. So we do it maybe about three times. We do. Oop. See, normally her ear would be stitched on at this point, and then of course we pull it tighter. So we pull it so that it pulls cut it and then the end will just vanish into inside her so it's lost so we haven't got any ugly knots on the outside and then i'm going to sew everything on including the ear that fell off and then she'll be completely finished but any questions anything you're not sure of on the pattern anything you get stuck with my email address um you can contact me through my website which is weewoollywonderfuls.com or my email address is weewoollywonderfuls at outlook.com the Woolly has two O's and two L's, and I also have a Facebook page, um, so feel free to contact me in any way you wish. I'm always happy to answer questions if there's something you're not sure of, or if there's something you're really stuck with, I can always do a little video uh, for you. So I really hope you've enjoyed making Amy, um, and hopefully you'd uh, like another kit and make something different. Um, good fun to have a kit because you just got everything you need and it turns out exactly like, like the one we've made. And I've enjoyed doing the videos. So thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.